We're going to open up the floor one more time. Hi, my name is Andrea Geyer. Um, I'm going to read a manifesto that I wrote um, as part of a new project. <clears throat> I want the museum to be, to gather together. I want the museum for me to be seen and heard and felt. I want the museum to take space to overcome my voice silenced loudly before. I want the museum to welcome my smell, my noise, my inadequacy, and my struggle. I want the museum to wake up to this new world with necessity. I want the museum to dismantle its paywall, its safety nets, and its desire to entertain. I want the museum to give us direct access to the art we need to demolish the limits of our ability to find each other. I want the museum where we is inevitably the right mode of address. I want the museum to build coalitions across colors, sounds, materials, cultures, and affinities. I want the museum to be a space spurred by contemplation and empathy. I demand the museum to undo the divisions between the rational and the crazy to help us imagine that which we have failed to see. I want the museum to be a place in which we can give ourselves over, not only to visions considered our own, but new visions yet for us to imagine. I demand the museum to abolish, abolish the imperial mindset that gave rise to its current form. I need the museum to start from scratch because we need it now, now more than ever before. I want the museum to recognize that for culture to take place, our bodies must appear. I want the museum giving rise to our sense of self, to us as individuals and as members of communities where we can feel a stability that is recognized and hailed by others. I need the museum to always be where we explicitly show up for each other. I appear to you and you appear to me. I want a museum that can hold difference and dissonance without fear. I want a museum that inverts hierarchies and value systems in art and in people. I want a museum to create its own unregulated wildness to resist binding its objects and viewers to rules, and instead release the wild in us, fusing our hunger into action. I want the museum to refuse the refusal of violent traditions. I want a museum where we can find the things that are not, as they slip through the cracks of their absence into an inevitable presence. I want the museum to be a public and therefore always already political space. I want the museum, in fact, to contest the division between public and private, demonstrating that politics are already in the home, in the streets, at our work. I want the museum to lead its viewers away from passive admiring into active viewing. I want the museum to arise of the organization of people. They're acting and speaking together, like here. I want the museum to be a place where people cannot help but speak, materializing their freedom and radicality of conversation. In response, I want the museum to be quiet and listen. I need the museum to move on. I want the museum to realize that those stripped of representation are still here, gagged by a collective blind spot. I want the museum to laugh at its own prejudice. I want the museum to emphatically court those who have been uninvited and who have never felt the need to cross the threshold of its doors before. And I want the museum to recognize that it not only needs those missing, but actually fails in its entirety without. I want a museum to inspire prejudice as a predicament of privilege. I want a museum to be a space for the movement of things, of values, and of meanings. I want a museum to be a space where I can glance back at those who are looking. I want a museum to foster disorientation for me to linger with perception. It's red. I want a museum to disorganize my thoughts I want a museum to liberate my desire into a yet undeterminable form. I want a museum to be a space that makes us realize that we need to pay attention again. I need a museum to be a space to breathe. I need a museum to give me shelter from the monolithic, the dogmatic, and more. I want a museum to offer free food, a bathroom, and education. I want a museum loud and quiet, bright and dark, concrete and abstract. 
I want a museum to give us tools to undo the visual regimes generated to blind us. I need a museum to offer a space in which we spend less time antagonized and antagonizing. I need a museum to support a democratic people. In crisis, exhibitions should multiply, art activities should continue and increase because art is no luxury or pastime. It is a fundamental necessity. I want the museum to be open until 10 p.m. I demand the museum to be a site of collective study and never a call to order, a space of dissonance and noise, a space of a public weave into which one sends one's imagination visiting. I need the museum to be a place of courageous vulnerability. I want the museum to offer spaces of resistance against the terror of disappearance. I insist the museum to endure a productive discomfort and eclipse banality. I do need the museum also to be a place where I can rest. I don't want to walk in museums anymore from void to void, but I rather want to stumble from present to present. I want a museum to be a place where time expands, where we can be with time instead of being emptied without. I want a museum that does not categorize art as old or new, conservative or radical, but opens it to us as a continuous and living expression. I need the museum to be committed to this moment. I need the museum to be corrective to our highly technological culture. I want the museum to be a space in which things feel closer together, closer to me and to you and to us. I need a museum where practice and theory is one. I want the museum where spaces start to tremble and floors crack open. I want the museum to be a space where my feet can start my feet start to dance, so my voice can't help but sing. I want the museum to be a place of practiced liberation. I want the museum to escape the barriers of language. I want the museum to contribute to mass education and subjects inadequately covered or even omitted in formal education. I want a museum to teach a new kind of vanishing point, to offer those who visit not a room of their own, but a space in the world, because they need to be in the world with others and believing in it continuously anew. Thank you.